Let's get into our World, Keep, uh, World Cup team of the tournament. We've got Q&A coming up shortly with Hads. Looking forward to that. But um, give us a best 11 so far. Hads, you're not, not going to be happy with me based on what we were just talking about, but go. Mate, I'm going to go to Cock at the top. He's scored a couple of centuries. He can keep, he can keep wickets as well. Yep. Rohit Sharma. I agree with you there. So we're the same there for our openers. Rohit Sharma. Um, he can open, mate. He's got a strike rate at the moment of mm. what 130. Yep. Um, Coley picks himself. Um, Mendes, I'm going to have from yep. Sri Lanka. Yep. Um, mate, he's got a strike rate at the moment of 146, so he can go in at uh, number four. Rizwar at five. Mm-hmm. Clarsen at six. I, I think at the moment he, he's been the most destructive player um, in the tournament. And don't be surprised if South Africa do go all the way and they get over that hoodoo. He's man of the series. Jensen at number seven. Um, mm. He's been great with the new ball. He's also found a, a bit with the batty. He's come out and, and got totals that look like getting to, to 330, which are competitive totals, um, which you can go, oh, it's a 50-50 result. And, and he's getting 40 off 20 balls. What was and, he, 72 off 30-odd yeah. the other night? And he's pushing the, the score up to 400 where he's playing oppositions out. I won't tell you number eight yet because I'm, I'm still debating that. Wow. Uh, Fight with yourself. Number nine is Rashid Khan. Uh, He's only got six wickets in the tournament, but I've watched the way teams are playing him. They're sitting on him. He's having to work hard for his wickets. He's still got six wickets. He's still doing a roll. Okay, so if if you're listening to this and he's gone none for 100 against Pakistan, forgive Hads because it was before the game against Pakistan. It it won't happen. Pakistan don't play leg spin that well, so he'll probably have 10 wickets by the end of that. Good. Number 10's out of Afridi and Stark. Afridi's got nine wickets at this stage, Stark six. Yeah. I'm picking Mitchell Stark because I think are. by the end of... you're biased. Be, be, <laughs> <laughs> be, 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 I see Sam shaking his head. Mitchell Stark, <laughs> yep. by the end of the, the game against the Netherlands, will be the leading wicket taker in the tournament. Okay. So you heard that here first, and so maybe a hat-trick. Uh, Boomer at number 11 picks himself. But number eight... This was a tough, tough selection. And I look right through the stats, and I'm not always stat-based. I, I like how people contribute to teams. We I've haven't got, had a Kiwi so far, have we? Yeah, we've got Dadeja, a left-arm ortho. I needed a left-arm orthodox spinner. Or? I've gone Santner. Ooh. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> He's been outstanding. He uh, has been good. I haven't yeah. got him in my 11, though. Oh, I can take him out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two other Kiwis. But yeah, no, I've got uh, Santner at uh, number eight. Leading wicket taker. Um, he's got 12 wickets. He's bowled outstanding. Okay. Um, we differ a fair bit, actually. Well, that's we a good thing, because bit. I've got the cricket mind, and yours could be anything. You can could, you could have him <laughs> if you want. I have put thought into it, though, Has. I haven't just done it two minutes before we're coming here. So I've got the same openers, Decock and also Rohit. Mm. Rohit actually looks like he's um, he's dropped the carbs. He looks like in really good shape and sharper minded. And they're cutting to him a lot because he's the captain, obviously. And he's... Tactically, he's very good. He's leading in yeah. India really, really well. i got uh, Ratchan in there, Ravindra. Mm, next. He's been one of the finds of the tournament. He You've got has, to admit that. He has. Got yeah. to admit that. And I want to see yeah. this guy play test cricket because I reckon over an extended period of time, I, I I hope he doesn't fall into the. Oh, I'm not going to play much Test cricket for New Zealand because I can go off and contract er- everywhere. Obviously, he's going to get offers from the IPL, but I want to see this guy have a 10 year career yeah. at Test cricket. What what I like about him in, in the first couple of games, he's got 130 in the first game mm. against England. That's a pressure moment. Um, the first game, and he got 70 against India. So the the two biggest moments of the tournament, he stood up. So for a young kid to do that under pressure. That's why I put him in there, Hads, and mm-hmm. obviously he's meant to be the cricket mind here. Rizwan um, as well, Coley, I'll flip him around, whatever, rare order. What about Virat, how he's just controlling tempo and <laughs> danger signs? Well, you said about Rohit Sharma, how, how he's looking good, he's controlling the tempo. This is Rohit Sharma and Coley's maybe last opportunity to, yeah. to win a World Cup, and and they're playing that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just have to watch Coley in the field. You, you, you've seen the young kid come out to bat, the, the Kiwi, um, the other Ratchet, night, Ratchet. Ratchet. and he went after him straight away. He, he walked beeline for him. Yeah. Uh, he stood in front of him a little bit, tried to intimidate him. Um, I, I'm surprised he didn't ask him for his autograph. So, mate, I'm in the time <laughs> of my life. You've never spoken to me before. This is the closest I could get to you. So, yeah, they're up for it, the big Indians. So, Rizwan, Coley in the middle order. Clarsen as well. Yeah. I agree with you. Here's where I've twisted a bit. I, I get your point of again about Jansen, and, um, but I've gone Jadeja. Because yep. you want a job in India, yeah, <laughs> that too. But the the way he's going to have such a huge bearing on um, 
especially if Cool Deep doesn't quite get it right. But he's had a huge bearing. It's a team of the tournament so far, not looking into the future. Bumra, outstanding. Want that job in India. <laughs> uh, Afridi, just ahead of your man, Stark. I've gone Trent Bolt. Now, there's a reason, Hads. There is a reason. He's the only opening bowler. He hasn't taken a stack of wickets, but he's the only opening bowler who, okay, against India, he went for six and over, but Rohit was, was going. That he, I think his economy rate was like four runs and over. Like, that's hard to do at the top of an order in a 50 over. Thing. So I've got Trent Bolt there. Don't look at me like that because I'm going to cheer you up now, all right? Well, it's going and, to tackle. It's going to have to be a big selection. Well, it's an Australian. I've oh, finally I mean, yeah, got an Australian yeah, in perfect. there. Perfect. I'll put Zampa in there. I put Zamps in there because I, on the basis of imagine how good he'd be if he didn't he didn't he stayed out of the gym and stayed out of swimming pool so far. <laughs> We're not to the bottom of that yet. <laughs> of either story. Mm. Oh, oh, the I, gym's I, a pretty easy one. He's tweaked his back doing a deadlift or something. But no, no, no. Swimming into a wall with your Zamps eyes does not have one muscle. <laughs> so he's he's obviously tripped walking away from the gym. But so I, I don't that's mind my Zampa. Do you, do you mind that eleven? How many Indians do you have in there? Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, they're undefeated. I'm no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not doubting you. you One know. Australian, just to stay on yeah. your good side. And, and I know job interviews are done different ways, and, yeah. and you're doing yours right now for the IPL. Yeah, and I'm going on a golf trip to New Zealand soon, <laughs> so I've got two Kiwis in there. <laughs>